I still can't see that red arrow, but I'm guessing it's there. From the general position of the rest of them. It's not quite perfect, but you know what? I think I can deal with that. Okay, there's our sign and it only took me half an hour. All right, now what we want here is we want it to be basically centered back front and left right like so oh man i love this oh look at this boys and girls look at this is this not one of the most beautiful things you've ever seen in your life of course it is if i do say so myself now um nature. And we're going Asia. I'll get rid of the mulch. Okay. So blueprints off. Um, something nice and pretty and there's not enough room to put a cherry tree there because believe me, if I, if I thought I could put cherry trees down, I would absolutely put cherry trees down. But because gee whiz, uh, cherry trees are just beautiful, are they not? Now, let us not pretend that this ivy wasn't put here intentionally, because it was. Remember, the zoo is a controlled environment. I am going to get this to do what I want. Okay, that's the that's the spin. So let's do this. You know, zoo's controlled environment. If the zoo didn't want the ivy there, the, the ivy would not be there. Let's be honest about everything. Now, granted, that's you know more true for some zoos than others. I have been in a zoo which literally was carved out of a swamp, and uh, they basically everything that wasn't zoo path was uh, was left to grow wild, up to and including the animal habitats. All right, so cedar bush. Now let's see. Wisteria is just not going to cut it right now. Let's bring this down here. 
Okay, and what in the middle? I need a nice flower. What we got in gardens? Golden rods. Golden rods are a possibility. Alpine current? What's it? What's the alpine current going to look like in this space? Mm, not as impressive as I want, but I don't want to put row and row and row of aloe vera plant. Um, azaleas are, all, are always a possibility. Could just go with the cordies. Dwarf cornets. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here. All right, <clears throat> one line of golden rods. One line of the dwarf coronets. In fact, we'll even make it two lines of the dwarf coronets. Okay. Oh, look at this crap. All right. And Basically, now we're into boring, repetitive mode when it comes to the flowers. I suppose I could do this, just do them one at a time. Might be faster. Okay. Now comes the magic trick. Abracadabra. Okay, so there's our sign. And I know you're saying, Jack, God, that took forever. Well, you know what? Yeah, it really did. I'm surprised by how long it took also. But you know what? This is going to be worth it. I promise you it's going to be worth it. So what we need. Okay, first, let's get away from that group and deal with this group. Okay. Off the East Asia theme.
And, uh, you know, I have to apologize. I realize that some, some videos I'm very talkative and other videos I'm very quiet. And I can't really predict which ways it's going to go. Um, mostly today, I'm just kind of concentrating on, um, on the, on, on the build. And I don't have a lot to say. There's not much to bring up today. Um, you know, let me cry out loud. I actually talked about the dinner that I had. I generally don't discuss that unless it's something, some special project, but, uh, you know, what I'm uh, planning on doing here, this is going to be sort of like a gatehouse um, with, uh, you know, for the, for the entrance of the zoo. And the guests are going to walk through these arches and pay the ticket price, and they'll exit out... Um, onto this path and the path itself will lead to the rest of the zoo and I'll be using all the space here but this is what I'm basically doing right now um, you know and it's gonna work it's gonna work out just fine trust me <laughs> okay All right, East Asia theme. All right. Okay, let's bring that back a little. I just overshot just a touch. Now. And then we go back to plaster. And what? Hold on. We'll go ahead and use the dry stone. I was originally not going to, but you know what? It just fits the theme better. Whoops. That gives a roof to the interior. Now, What I'm doing here is basically building a generic uh, Asian-esque tower. I make no pretenses of being an expert on Asian architecture or how to make it look real. I'm basically just going to make it look like, okay, I can live with that. Um, in fact, you know what? That's too big. It's entirely too big. 
that's okay. That is all right. Now, I wonder. East Asia. Thinking, yeah, that'll work. But should I use the, the long ones? Let me look at let me look at that real quick. Oh no, definitely the long ones. We will definitely use the long ones. What do you guys think Did that work? What am I doing over here? Hit the wrong button again. Wait, there's an idea. Okay. Once again, we're going to eyeball this. Oh, I like that. What do you think, boys and girls? I like that a lot. That looks good. That looks really, really good. All right. Yeah, that's looking really good. I'll copy these and bring them through. All right, is there any... Do I want to leave it relatively bare or do I want to decorate the crap out of it? What do I want to do here? Um... I think at the very least, I want to lay some of these red boards down just to get the theme. It's the same theme, you know? It's the same exact theme as everything else. We are almost out of time on this. Wait, oh, I see it. It's against the white. You see that little bit that's right there against the white? It's letting me see the, the red arrow. That's just cool. I love it when a plan comes together. All right. Um, I 
we're almost out of time, but it does look like I'm going to have a chance to complete at least most of the decorations on this half of the um, on this half of the building. And this is just one part of this entrance garden. I haven't even gone into the rest of it yet. Is that balanced that way? Huh. I guess so. Okay. Right. That looks like a face. And here we go. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this session of uh, Planet Zoo. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed doing this. Um, you know, as I mentioned, I'm putting a lot of attention to detail and a lot of care and feeding into this, and I want it to look perfect. I think it does. That sign, I just think, is impressive. And uh, the entrance building, there might be one or two tweaks I can do. Um, but right at the moment, I'll be honest, off the top of my head, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably think of something. You know, so the next time you you come in, you'll you'll go, oh, he's done a little extra work on this. Yeah, because, you know, I might tinker. I might just tinker. But it won't be anything serious, I'll tell you that for nothing. Um, just little minor things. Kind of like the fact that I looked in here and immediately went, what this needs is a fence that is separating the two ticket booths like this anyway uh if you liked what you saw here today, please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that too. Uh, it costs you nothing, and it helps me out immensely. Um, you know, again, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate your attention. While you're out and about, please be kind. Kindness is the byword. Kindness is the way we all should be. 
A single act of kindness can change somebody's life for the better. I know this from experience. I will see you in the next video, folks. Bye-bye.